this cool little uh, Italianate archi rock architecture. You know, we call it a mansion, but it's really just this little stone cottage in the middle of this wild and rugged canyon. So it's really kind of evokes this Western frontier atmosphere. The mansion was built sometime between 1914 and 1918 by Lawrence Driggs. Driggs is a famous author, New York socialite, and even practiced law, but became very fascinated with Colorado and the beauty of Unaweep Canyon. Driggs acquired 320 acres of land in Unaweep Canyon as part of the U.S. government's Desert Land Act. In 1916 is our first recorded evidence of Driggs being in the area. The structure is not only historically significant, but architecturally significant as well. The local stonemason family headed by Nunzio Grazzo constructed the stonework and it is extremely beautiful and well-crafted. Nobody's exactly sure how long the Driggs family lived in their mansion. Some accounts say it was only a couple years, some say decades. And why exactly they left also remains a subject of mystery and local lore. Driggs sold the property in 1923, and in the last several decades it's passed through a number of different hands and different families. It was really uh, about 91, 92, I saw people vandalizing that site and the fact that they had no idea at all as far as what they were doing. There were kids crawling on the walls. There were people, you know, stealing blocks. I started realizing that it, it wasn't going to stay around for very long, that it was, it was really, you know, in danger of those walls falling over and uh, something needed to be done to, to stabilize it. It's been in disrepair for many decades, and in 2000 and Five, there was a what we call a historic structure assessment of the site where archaeologists and architectural historians looked at it to see what needed to be done to stabilize it so that it could be preserved. We did the uh, stabilization assessment in the fall of 2005 on the Driggs Stone House. We at that time did a scale plan view map a wall-by-wall -wall structural assessment of the building and uh, came up with a plan for how to make sure that the building um, could remain standing um, for a long time. There's a long trajectory of, of how you, you know, preserve a site like that. So they first did the assessment and then they listed it on the state register and th then a few years later they've come in for the um, grant to do the stabilization work and then uh, they did that uh, stabilization work in October of 2012. So the concept is to do what we, what's needed to preserve these remains as they are as far as possible. There are places where we actually have to do some reconstruction of areas that, that are vulnerable to further deterioration. And we do the best we can to, to make those, to match those uh, repairs, those, uh, those areas where we have to rebuild something to the original style. I'm basically focusing on repointing and resetting some stones and directing water away from um, cracks so water can't get into the wall and expand and deteriorate the walls further. We water it so the mortar will t take to the stone a little better and we clean it so there's no loose debris. Then once we, you know, get it in there and it's short, shore it up, then we try and wash the excess mortar off. You know, we're trying to make it not so obvious that we've worked on it. I guess the main thing with capping the walls up there is keeping the loose stones from falling and also getting the water to drain off the sides of the wall rather than going into the wall because stonework, when uh, ice will make things get loose, so you really want to keep water outside of the wall. But we don't want to make it look like there's a big concrete cap on the top, so it's just kind of figuring out where the water's running and putting down new mortar to give it a place to go and away from the wall. It is fun to think about the, um, the, the Grasos out here building this building uh, out in the middle of nowhere, obviously putting an incredible amount of skill, and you can tell that they they love laying up, they love building with stone too. 
It's not clear whether these guys were here for two years or four years to build this thing. They did an amazing job, but it would be a long time to be out here working on one project. I think that's kind of the most impressive thing to me is that this father and son were out here for this long working on working on something that only ended up getting used for a fairly short period of time. If we didn't do it now, you know, I think I think there's an agreement that you know, possibly within a year or two we'd lose part of the mansion. I think it's really important to preserve as many of these um, relics of our past as we can, especially these visible sites. And the Driggs Mansion is, is uh, of the Driggs Stone House is truly visible to people driving along the, the scenic byway through Unaweep Canyon. They're part of our, our historic landscape, and these things are disappearing rapidly through time, just through natural deterioration. So what we have left, I think we really need to make good strong efforts to uh, maintain.